we are going to create a table let's begin again I have my chair and my scale in the scene that way it'll be a lot easier to reference for me to create that table it's going to be a glass table uh, for legs I don't have a good enough reference here um, I'm not gonna not this one this is from a different scene I was just referencing the chairs and uh, this is going to be the couch where we're going to create um, I'm just going to create kind of from my mind from uh, a previous reference uh, a glass a glass table with um, curved legs so let's begin we're going to create the the top first and we, we are going to create that from cylinder and we can't see it because we only shown view selected so let's do that again show isolate view selected scale this in bring it up Uh, scale it in a bit more. It's going to be a thin. And let's select outer faces. I'm going to extrude those out to create a little border around, like a, a metal border that's going to hold uh, hold that glass in. So extrude this. Actually, let me. I'm going to select just the outer edges for this one. Now, the way I'm doing this is if you have a certain selection already made, and if you press Shift and select over it, it deselects the one you have selected and selects the one you drag over. Uh, so it's a, a great little shortcut. So I, I don't have to go in and reselect it one by one. I'm just shift dragging and deselecting and selecting at the same time. And I'm gonna extrude one more time and this time I'm gonna extrude a bit out to create a little edge. All right, now and actually, what I'm going to do is select all the inter interfaces and extract them. Now, this is going to be table rim. And uh, the inner side is going to be table glass. And I want to center pivot for both. Yep, good. And now, since we already have our glass created, I'm just going to apply it to the table so I can see it. Here we go. That's what I was going for. Alright, that's good for right now. Let's just delete our history on these guys. And now we're going to build the stand. Let's go to our side view. Alright, I want to have everything selected that I want to view. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to create a curve. And we're going to extrude along the curve. and uh, let's build table legs we're gonna start with a CV curve and then we're gonna extrude uh, a polygon uh, along that curve so start with the top and then go down to the bottom where you start the curve that's where you wanna extrude your polygon your object from uh, so the beginning point is very important so if you start from the bottom you're gonna extrude from the bottom. If you're going to start from the top, you have to bring your object to the top. So just be aware of that. So let me begin. I'm going to create a little cool uh, 
curve that's going down press enter uh, maybe fix a few points make it a little more curvy now I'm gonna create a cube and scale it down and bring it to the top and I'm gonna squeeze it in and squeeze it down and I'm gonna position it on top on top of this on this curve now next step what we do is select the face the bottom face and then select the curve and then we're going to press extrude and it extrudes along the curve the reason it's not following the curve is we need to bump our, our divisions so in the poly extrude option inputs we have divisions so here we can increase the divisions up I'm gonna bump it up to 11 that's a good number and to make this shape more interesting I'm going to add a twist 230 twist that's cool and you can also play around with uh, tapering and the offset so whatever you want to do you can uh, uh, create uh, very interesting organic shapes with this so uh, at this point I'm going to bring this over to where the table is at that's one of our legs and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this and rotate it negative 90 and bring it over and get a little closer here so they don't intersect I'm going to do it again duplicate it and duplicate and repeat the function again and I'm pressing shift D so it keeps the rotation um, intact so every time I, I press shift D it's going to keep rotating along 90 degrees so that's perfect and that's our legs very cool organic cool looking shape